Hello and welcome, dear family. Today we have a special broadcast, a special topic, very, very long awaited for many of you. And many very sacred, secret moments that are gradually becoming manifest will be revealed today. As you know, one can talk a lot, and therefore we would not indulge in reasonings, but rather accept the power of living presence. It is a matter of accepting it just once, and, in fact, sometimes just one broadcast is enough for this power to begin to flourish, unfold like a beautiful rose in your space. For those who don't know me yet, my name is Anna Kamalaya Hafers. And what I'm talking about is not just knowledge. This is a real living presence that embraces you beyond time and space. And this is the experience that I accepted and deployed in my space every time speaking on certain topics and elaborating on them i always take as a basis what i have deployed in my life in full power in my life i have unfolded in full power the very meeting with my true authentic other half and i met my true other half in the true world and i merged with it today I will be able to tell you in more detail what it means. And the second moment is that I met my soulmate here, so to speak, in the 3D world. Let's call it as we are used to call it. And already in this union, I gave birth to a child my little baby girl. And this union is really just totally incredible. And just stopping at that, everything would be great already. But sharing and multiplying, multiplying what is given to me and given to me by heaven itself, I already am able to observe within our immensely large family that many, very many of you connect with your true halves connect with those halves manifested in the physical world, in the 3D world, where our couples meet each other. It's always thrilling. It's always just simply amazing. And today, let's have a talk about it. And in fact, every broadcast, every transmission, when I transmit to you, when I broadcast these frequencies, this genetic memory, perfect memory, perfect records, every time, every impulse opens and gives birth to, multiplies these high-frequency memory cells that unfold in your space. And each of you will be absolutely free to take this memory, unfold this memory, and live in that time and space where it already exists without getting stuck in the genetic memory of low vibration crystalline networks of consciousness. So, let's get started. I love you. I love you immensely, immensely, each and every one of you. And first of all, I turn to the heart, to the one heart of everyone, and I touch the heart of each of you. I unfold the space of the original crystalline network of consciousness. We unfold from the very core a flaming golden heart, the heart of home. We send you our embraces, our love. And today, Transmitting the topic of the other half, we, first of all, turn to you personally, 
to the one who is now listening to this broadcast. Remember your original perfection. You are not this body that is. You are much, much more. You are all that exists. And when a person is in search, when he is looking, whether it is in the eyes or in the bodies, everywhere, when everywhere, he is looking for love. And in fact, all human actions and all genetic memory, including the one that is on the low vibration fields of consciousness of separation one way or another, is written in such a way that everyone, everyone is looking for this love, absolutely everyone, because everything that exists is created in the image and likeness of a meeting with your soulmate. Man forgot his true home, forgot his true structure, and that very great, all-encompassing, very real love that is beyond this realm of existence. And only after merging with this love, we can talk about merging with true soulmate here, in physical bodies. Questions about twin flames have been raised quite frequently, but we have never yet discussed this topic on our channel or at the Academy in general. Today we will touch on the topic of twin flames, and more so because we are receiving many, many questions from you regarding this topic. And of course, I understand you very well that you long for physical contact, embrace, you want to meet the one who is the one, once and for all, and to be certain that he or she is that very same soulmate, and together with him, to walk through this life in union, in love, in harmony. So it will come to be, so it will be, because the earth itself passes into this crystalline consciousness, this crystalline network of consciousness on which, first of all, it is the earth itself that meets its true other half. The authentic real half is in the authentic world. It is not in that 3D world, which essentially is illusory. The true soulmate is on the other side, invisible to people's eyes. We can say that it is always beyond the wall of the pyramid of consciousness where the human consciousness is immersed, namely one or another of its frequencies. His other half, being on the other side, just like a person himself, is looking for a way out in order to merge with a person because this love is just that strong and so much powerful. But a person, in his unconscious, does not see it or hear these knocks. In fact, before, it was only possible to merge with this other half when a person left this body, when consciousness left the body. And accordingly, the pyramid in which the consciousness was immersed in the world of illusions was released. 
and then this merger was possible. Now, in a new time of transition, the transition, you know it all, beloved, into a new era, this is becoming possible. Moreover, my dear, this is inevitable for everyone who follows the path of evolution of their consciousness and moves to a new Earth, the Earth, where it will merge with its other half in a dance of love. Where is this meeting possible? My dear, this meeting is possible only in the middle body, exactly in this golden heart, which is a crystalline network of consciousness, a breathing membrane. It's like a kind of wall of union, a wall of meeting, right in the middle. This is how the universe works. And in this middle, developing this crystalline network of consciousness, precisely that crystalline network of consciousness where this meeting is possible, you can meet your true, very, very real soulmate. If you listen to this meeting to the end, for some of you the speed of broadcasting or some other points may be unfamiliar. For others there may be unfamiliar words. For others it may be consonant. For others it's not consonant. And if you, for yourself, for your soul, simply give the opportunity to listen to the end of this broadcast without judgment, then a lot will be revealed for you. Moreover, for many who accept, namely, accept this essence for the sake of which we open the doors as much as possible now. For those, these changes will appear in life, as they have already appeared for many manifested in this love. My dear beloved, a new crystalline network of consciousness where the Earth transitions to, all living things move there as well, together with it. This is a genuine half, a meeting with which has become possible in this body. Moreover, not just possible, but this merger and this meeting must be fully felt and lived on the physical plane, in the physical body. So, what is this half anyway? Dear, when you follow the path of the evolution of consciousness, move through the tunnels of consciousness, replace one crystalline network of consciousness with the next and go into the original one. Each time you shift your consciousness, each time you leave old memory platforms, genetic records, and free the parts of your soul. You teleport. Teleportation occurs. But with each teleportation, your soul begins to develop, just as the entire world soul develops. Your soul begins to be released and knocks on your doors. Thus, step by step, remembering the true structure of a person, remembering all his original perfect genetic records, you come to an integral soul, to a single integral pyramid, the Holy Grail. And now, collecting all this mass of love, the Divine Mass, you merge with a single spirit, unite on this living, breathing membrane. 
This meeting is taking place. The greatest ambrosial love. It is impossible for a person, just a person, to comprehend such love. There are not even such records in human genetics. It's when you move to super, super frequency layers of memory, then this is already extraterrestrial love, extraterrestrial intelligence. So the true half is that same all that exists. God Almighty, everything that was, is and will be. This is an immense home. Many of you also know it as the Merkaba, the holistic home. And this is your entire edifice of the world. This is your world of true nature, your universe, in which you are the center. And this body that you projected here is the meeting place of this world soul and spirit, the true half. In the image and likeness, you also merge with this true half, which is, I repeat once again, all that exists. The holistic that is beyond all genetic records, in a place where there were no genetic records yet. In this eternity, there was already someone who is all that exists. The whole home, the world of your true nature, which you forgot about. which is still much more real than the world of illusions of a wonderful life that you are projecting here. And this powerful other half finds you when you have assembled the assembly, all your mass, all your parts of the soul. It finds you, it sees this divine light of the divine soul the whole assembly. And then, this is your true half, which, as it seems to you, is not visible to the ordinary human eyes. But the one who has collected all the parts of the soul, he sees this half everywhere. Of course, at that very moment, the moment of your long-awaited meeting, it unquestionably appears to you in a single image, in such an image in which it is convenient for you to accept it. It may look different to everyone. This image may appear to you holographically. It may appear to you on your inner screen. It may appear to you in a dream. Maybe, as it seemed, so it is. As imagined, so it is. Someone is simply imagining. Each approach is individual, transpersonal, because everyone is individual. As it is convenient to you, that is how it is shown to you. And here, he or she, if you are a man, then in a female image, if a woman, then in a male image, appears to you in all its power, in all its glory, in the very, very image that is most consonant with you. Of course, you can only imagine what a powerful force this mass is, and it can certainly turn into anything. The point is, the most important thing is for this to happen. And simply, the scenario is played out in this way, like a kind of personification. In the real world, in the image and likeness, much more happens. This is truly majestic, the greatest of the greatest events, a marriage, a union, a meeting of two true halves. We found each other. I love you so much. You say it, 
You vibrate it with all your might, with all your strength. I love you so much, my joy, my endless love. There is no me without you, I am here. I call you, come to me with all that you are. I know I remember this love, this union. And he instantly, instantly gives a response. And you will feel the response in your whole body, in your whole, in your whole body. After this, of course, a connection is established. A strong, strong connection is established. A connection with your true nature, holistic nature. Here, when you establish a connection with your holistic nature, you become holistic from the word whole, world whole. Here, all, all times, here is the whole your entire universe. And it is also the essence, the entity or deity, the healer from the word whole, because your natural world is being healed. That's it. You have merged, you have come into one, and your world is healing. Your world begins to prosper. Your world comes to wealth prosperity, because from this love there is merging everywhere. This meeting occurs in every blade of grass, in every grain of sand, in every molecule of water. And wherever you look, you begin to look at yourself from this shore and from that shore. And connecting these two shores, there are no longer any barriers or obstacles between you. Here, there are no longer intermediaries between you, because all your thoughts and feelings at the moment of evolution of consciousness and merging into a single, integral soul come to absolute purification, to shine. All feelings are purified to shine. Accordingly, it is a powerful, all-encompassing, endless, eternal love, all-encompassing. And in this body of consciousness, you cannot have any grudges against anyone. Here, you are in Divine Consciousness super-frequency consciousness. Because if you are offended by someone, hold some dissonant thoughts, are not the bearer of a clear head, a pure thought, a field of pure thought, then you instantly move switch your genetic memory, the crystalline network of consciousness to where this offense is, which means you change your sound, your tonality, your resounding. But here, in union with your genuine, super-frequency, powerful half, which is not even the first projection, it is that powerful force that is even before the first projection. It had not yet projected itself. This very first huge powerful mass, the powerful force, and everywhere you see only Him. You see this love in the mirror, in your own eyes, in the mirror, you see his, her eyes. This is a reflection of this love everywhere. You see this love in all the signs in the sky, on the earth, on houses, on walls. You hear these signs in music, in a song. Somewhere by chance, someone started singing or playing some melody. 
You see these meetings in the events that this half constantly reproduces for you, in the things that it shows you, that you acquire, from which you experience joy. Even though these are some small things, they reflect the essence of your communication with this half. You see it everywhere in numbers. You see it through other people. Everywhere, everywhere. This half is looking for a way to merge with you. And here there is another secret key. I know that in this broadcast there are already those who have been in the Academy for a long time, and even those who have not been for so long, but the process of merging has already taken place along the path to solar genetics with their other half. And the key is for you, beloved, to remember that this is not just a one-time thing. It's not just that this union happened for you as a kind of wedding, which could also be broadcast to you as it suits you. Someone in a dream. To someone it is communicated through the dream, and for someone, the wedding scenario could even be played. For example, someone could end up in some place where a luxurious wedding was taking place. But in fact, it was transmitted to you that this is your union, this is your endless love, that finally, finally, you have merged with each other. Because you are a carrier, in this body you came to the world soul, and now through this body, this merging, this powerful force occurs. And someone may have simply imagined a wedding, someone played out the scenario, someone I know bought themselves rings as a symbol of this union. Everyone was led in their own way. But one way or another, beloved, the key is to keep this connection constantly. It really needs to be kept. This is not the way you are used to in earthly life. You got married to your husband, went to the registry office, got married officially, went through the wedding celebrations, came home and forgot about your husband. Or they were nice to each other for the first month, and then started acting out some harsh scenarios. No, beloved, here the point is that the half of your true world, since it is holistic, then, that's it, you merge into a single quantum, and in the image and likeness it is reflected, that is, it is reflected everywhere. You meet it every day in everything, you wake up with it, you see it everywhere, you merge everywhere, you know, everywhere, in every grain of sand, in every blade of grass, everywhere, in your every joy, amazement. Constantly remember, as you leave the world of illusions, who is the real one here? Who is this true one here? This is your merging with all your powerful true power. This is love. This is a state that, of course, is simply indescribable in words. This is love that envelops. It is so powerful that it envelops the whole body. It takes full care of this body, literally carries it in its arms. This is complete trust. When I say, God is sailing on a boat, this is life. When the superconscious lives this life in the body, and this body is actually carried on a boat. There are signs everywhere, love everywhere. And so, your goal is to develop the crystalline network of consciousness on which this meeting took place and not change the genetic records and move on out of habit and be shifted by some human reasoning some scenarios and, out of habit, forgetting about the, the real presence of your true half, to constantly vibrate only this genetic record, the solar record of the original 
primordial memory cell, all-encompassing love, all-pervading love, powerful love, 